Welcome to The Naomi Show. Hello and welcome to the program. Now, when it comes to dating, a lot of psychologists say it's absolutely essential to be confident and be yourself. Easy for them to say when a lot of people can start to doubt themselves and become completely tongue-tied the moment they encounter someone they're attracted to. Well, today, psychologist Eve Ash explains why being yourself is one of the most important keys to finding the right partner for you and gives you some tips on how to be more relaxed and confident when you're out dating. Well, Eve, why is it so important to be confident and be yourself when you're out dating and trying to meet someone? Well, there's two aspects. There's one being confident and there's one being yourself. Mm. Being yourself is really important because if you portray an image that you think somebody is going to like or that is something different than how you are, there's always going to be a gap between the reality and how they think you are. So it's important to be yourself so that you can continue to be yourself and not censor or not try and be something else. As for being confident, that is really uh, an essential thing. And a lot of people feel really underconfident, sometimes because they've come out of another difficult situation. Um, perhaps they're naturally not an outspoken person. So developing confidence and showing it is critical. Are there certain strategies you can employ that are going to make it a bit easier? Focusing on what you can control, which is yourself, and in that way, having something in your head that says, I'm okay, and this is all going to be okay, as opposed to repeating, oh, this is a nightmare, I really hate this, what is he going to think? Because a lot of people make themselves get very fearful and get very paralysed by their own thoughts. Yeah, because a first date can be quite nerve-wracking, a little <coughs> scary, um, and when people are getting ready for the date, they're worrying about what am I going to wear, are they going to like it, is it the right thing? When they meet them, they're thinking, do they like me, do they like what I'm wearing, do they like what I'm saying, am I talking too much, too little? All of these things are going whirling around in our heads. Is there some way to kind of take control of that in that sort of situation so you can make the most of it? Yeah, it is to recognise that you're pumping your head with unnecessary chatter uh, and unnecessary thoughts that put you into a doubtful situation and to really get talking for a start. So talking is really good and asking questions so that you're showing interest and talking about topics that make you feel comfortable. So you can select topics where you feel, you know, there might be sports or there might be things that you like and getting talking about them because that usually once, I think the hard part is the getting ready in the anticipation mm. because that's when you're not speaking, you're thinking a lot. Yes, exactly. You did mention to me a while back that um, someone was going on a first date and they were really nervous and you'd suggested to them talking about holidays because it's very, it's non-emotive it's something that everyone does to a certain extent and it's it's where you've actually had some fun so you're kind of reliving something where you were being yourself exactly and and you know it's important also to exclude stories about past relationships mm. because i think when people start resorting to things they did with a previous lover or a previous partner, it really, it, it isn't a good thing to bring into the next relationship. And surprisingly, so many people do it and ship. Or isn't it sometimes that um, when people are on a date, they're thinking about dating, they're thinking about relationships, they're trying to work out, is this person for me or not? Mm. And they're bringing up past relationships in order to see, well, what was yours like? I know. But it, it, you, you would say that's probably not a good path to go down? No. Look, a lot of thoughts jump into people's heads. You know, often they have a checklist and they're, they're not even enjoying the actual evening. They're actually so busy checking off check the checklist. Is he this? Is he that? Will he be this? Mm, maybe he can change or that. that's going to have to go. That's whatever. And they're actually not enjoying the evening. And I think if you, one way that you can tell if you're enjoying the evening is if suddenly a lot of time has passed. Do you think that there's an element of you need to be looking for a friend at a time like this in the sense that if you develop a best friendship connection or chemistry with someone that you eventually end up with as a partner, that you have a much greater foundation because obviously friends will go, you can, it actually takes you through all the troubled times, Absolutely. doesn't it? Absolutely. So you're looking for a friend, aren't you? And you're looking for 
somebody that you feel comfortable with. And I think if you don't feel comfortable in that very first instance with this person, there's either a discomfort or an anxiety or a formality where you can't just be yourself, then it probably is not going to work out. Really? You don't think... No. Give them a couple more chances? No, I, I don't think relationships should be so hard. I don't think... You know, I think there's a lot of trying to fit people into the right slot. And uh, I just think they should be natural. If, if a woman can realise how easily she makes a friendship with another woman, for example, mm. or somebody at work where there's no sexual overtone, it needs to be that easy. And then the sexual side is an added bonus. And I don't think, it, I think it's natural when people go out with somebody for the first time that they take themselves forward and try and imagine, and whether it's tonight or in a week or in a few weeks, being in bed with that person. I mean, it's hard Don't not to think. Don't guys do that all the time anyway? I think with women everyone. do it as well. Oh, that's what I'm told anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fantastic. Thank you, Eve. Thank you. And we'll see you next time. Your love life, let's talk about it at naomishow.com.